Seoul, Washington, and Tokyo will work on stronger and more comprehensive measures to prevent further North Korean provocations in light of Pyongyang's recent nuclear test. This comes as the top diplomats of the three countries met to discuss other issues like new unilateral sanctions on the regime. Kwon Soa starts us off with Sunday's meeting in New York. South Korea, the U.S., and Japan issued their first joint statement on North Korea since 2010 after their meeting Sunday on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly in New York. It said they would closely coordinate policies and expand collaboration in the wake of North Korea's second nuclear test this year and the regime's series of ballistic missile launches. South Korea's Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se emphasized North Korea's nuclear test on September 9th was the strongest ever conducted by the regime. The recent nuclear test by Pyongyang provided ample proof that its nuclear program has neared the tipping point. Moreover, the test frequency was significantly reduced from three years to eight months. Minister Yoon and his U.S. and Japanese counterparts also agreed to work on ensuring that the international community fully implements existing sanctions. They discussed further unilateral and multilateral methods to deter North Korea's nuclear ambitions, in addition to the U.N. Security Council's ongoing talks on a new resolution. The international society is required to initiate a different response. The U.S., South Korea and Japan must be in the driving seat to lead the international debate. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry once again stated that dialogue with North Korea is only viable under the following premise. That we are prepared to sit down with the DPRK, providing North Korea is prepared to talk with the rest of the world about responsible uh, approaches to the question of nuclear weaponry. Later this week, South Korea's foreign minister is expected to send a strong message to North Korea for his keynote speech at the UN General Assembly, with the North's foreign minister Lee Yong-ho expected to be in attendance. Konsua, Arirang News.